What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool news video and today's topic is Gary Neville's comments. Gary Neville said that Liverpool should just kick the Champions League into touch and focus only on the Premier League because according to Gary Neville that's the only way that Liverpool have any chance of winning the Premier League title and I strongly disagree with this opinion but I want to hear your opinion guys. What do you think? let me know in the comments below and also give a reason why do you think that Liverpool can sustain a challenge in the Champions League and in the Premier League to actually win multiple trophies because I think for the first time in uh, maybe 20 years Liverpool have a world-class squad full of world-class players and also we have good enough players on the bench but let's listen to Gary Neville's comments and I quote him the Champions League if I was Liverpool I would kick it into touch I know it that's very hard to do but if they could go into February March April without it I think they could have a real chance if they had three weeks so what do you think about this I think Liverpool still have a real chance of winning the Premier League title even uh, without Liverpool ignoring the Champions League. That's my opinion, but let me know what you think. And if you enjoy these types of videos, please leave a like, subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a future video. And he was asked why? And he said, I think their method is ex exhausting for the front, front three, the dropping quality below them if there are injuries or playing Wednesday, Saturday, I think it will take its toll. I can see where Gary Neville is coming from. I can see why he's saying that Liverpool just cannot play Mane, Firmino and Salah every single game and the, the drop off in quality, I, I agree it's there. But I think Liverpool's second team, for the first time in many, many years, could actually challenge for a top four place. And that's why I mean that Liverpool's backup players, a starting 11 of Liverpool's backup players, could actually maybe even finish in the top four, but definitely challenge for a top four place. And if you look at Mane, Salah and Firmino, they always played a lot of games. Mane had one season at Liverpool where he played 29 games. Uh, that was his first season because he had a an injury when he also went to the Africa Cup of Nations but then you know Mane played 44 games last season Salah played 52 games last season and Roberto Firmino played 54 games last season so these are very very fit players and Salah you know at Roma he played 41 42 and then before on at Fiorentina 26 games but then still he was still finding his feet in Italy Firmino you know before this last season he played 41 and 49 games for Liverpool so these are very very fit players Sadio Mane also played 43 and then th before that 32 games for Southampton so our front three are not injury prone of course uh, I really hope that that stays the same Firmino has, is a slight doubt for the Paris Saint-Germain Champions League game which I'm really looking forward to tomorrow and I will preview that uh, tomorrow uh, for you guys as well and I get the full FIFA 19 game on uh, September the 20th so so excited to start my Liverpool career board I'm really really pumped for that series and of course uh, until then I will keep posting uh, the gaming videos as well so stay tuned so I don't think that Salah, Firmino or Mane uh, has to be rested even for the Champions League games maybe for the League Cup games but the first time in many years in my opinion Liverpool have good backup players uh, we have many many attacking players who could play uh, alongside you know Sane, Mane, Mane Salah or Firmino and I think, you know, we have Shadow Shakiri who can certainly play on the right wing or on the left wing. We have uh, Dominic Solanke, we have Divo Corrigi, we have Daniel Sturridge. Three strikers who could play in Firmino's position. And I think the drop-off in quality, if you are talking about Daniel Sturridge, is not that huge. Yes, Sturridge is a completely different player, but I don't think he 
is a worse finisher than Firmino actually. Sturridge is one of the best finishers in the Premier League and that's why I, I think that Gary Neville is talking absolute bollocks. I, I know that uh, Jurgen Klopp will have a hard time, you know, just uh, to maybe leave some of these out. But what I would do is maybe for the Leicester uh, Champions League games, uh, like for example against Red Star Belgrade and in the League Cup, I would rest one of Sadio Mane, Salah or Firmino and maybe play Storage instead of Firmino in one game and then in the next game maybe play Shakiri instead of Salah and then in the next game maybe play Origi instead of Mane. So I, a slight rotation I, I, I think is definitely needed but to suggest that Liverpool should just drop the Champions League altogether. You are talking about the competition that Liverpool probably loved the most alongside the Premier League and that's not just not gonna, gonna, gonna happen. And uh, Gary Neville, I think we are saying that as a Man United fan because he admitted uh, and I quote Gary Neville, as a United fan I am very concerned about them. This front three have always been fantastic but now the midfield can run, it can pass, it has depth and the back four looks a unit and this is why I think we, we should really go all out in the Premier League and in the Champions League and maybe you know play the second team in the League Cup take that seriously because Liverpool really need to win a trophy and the League Cup probably is the easiest route to the final if you take the League Cup seriously you know you can easily end up in the semi-finals and the finals if you but even Liverpool's second team I mean Fabinho, Henderson Shakiri, Storage, Origi, these players are not even getting into our first team, into our starting level. And, and that just showed, shows how strong Liverpool are because uh, in previous years players like you know, Fabinho, Henderson, Storage would have been starters for Liverpool. But now with the, with the quality signings that we made we are a really really a contender in my opinion for the Premier League and the Champions League and Gary Neville said this as well the football they are playing on the Jurgen Klopp it's fantastic as a United fan that's a worry because it is still that mentality of anyone but Liverpool anyone but them uh, that's what Gary Neville said and I, I just love hearing that and Gary Neville I really respect him as a football pundit I, re I actually enjoy him analyzing different things and of course I think it's fine that he shares this opinion and you don't and I don't have to agree with it I actually strongly disagree with some of the points but I think it was worth uh, a video on its own to discuss these points because I have a lot to say about that about this so Gary Neville said the same for them anyone but us that's not Gary Neville he's a red he hates scousers those days has, have gone I am more thoughtful now he just thinks uh, he just thinks that uh, you know it's a worry that Liverpool are getting so strong he also saw, said this I got a glimpse uh, four years ago a few years ago when Brandon Rogers was going for it thousands lining the streets the fireworks before the game I thought then Imagine if they win this. I was turning up at Anfield three hours early because I couldn't get into the ground otherwise. So Gary Neville knows that Liverpool is kind of a sleeping giant in the process of waking up. And I think that scares the hell out of him and many other Manchester United fans and maybe even Chelsea, Arsenal, you know, uh, Man City fans, I think many many fans are recognizing, many rival fans are recognizing that Liverpool could really uh, become a, a, a big big uh, title contender year in year out. The way that Jurgen Klopp is building this team we are only going to get stronger because we have great uh, you know finances, uh, we have uh, so many sponsorship deals, we are expanding the stadium and making Anfield even bigger in the future in the next two or three years and uh, we already have a team, yes we spent a lot of money on it, but I think it was an investment much much needed and Jurgen Klopp himself said that uh, he only wants to make Liverpool better and even though as much as he wanted to keep Karius in goal just to prove everybody wrong, he had an opportunity to upgrade massively and sign a world class player and he said that's his duty and I, I think 
that Liverpool, yes, we should rotate, but only do it game by game and just to play players uh, who are, you know, fresh and uh, maybe rest players who are really, really tired. But these players are really uh, very, very good athletes. And yes, it can take its toll if uh, if we play Mane, Salah and Firmino, for example, up front. Let's just use this, this example. But, uh, that, but my solution for that is that maybe against, uh, no disrespect, but maybe against the Cardiff City at Anfield, you could go with a storage Shakiri and and maybe Mane on the left and then you know in the next game bring back the front three i i i honestly th agree with Gary Neville that you can't play through the whole season with the same strike force but this is why Liverpool signed Shakiri this is why we signed Fabinho this is why we signed Naby Keita so we have more depth i mean we had a Milner, Milner, Vinaldum, and uh, and Naby Keita starting the season, but we could line up with a midfield of a Fabinho, Henderson, and Lalana, and that would be almost as good as this current midfield. And we still have Alex Oxley Chamberlain to come back, and of course we can we could play Shakiri in the, in midfield. Yes, that's not his natural position, but uh, as the as maybe a two sitting midfielders and one attacking midfielder ahead of Shakiri, that could be a solution for Shakiri as well. But I think mainly Shakiri will play up front uh, in uh, in a one in one of the winger positions, and I think that would be vital. Shakiri looks really really hungry, and I think behind the scenes Jurgen Klopp is telling Fabinho, telling Shakiri, and obviously Naby Keita and Allison of uh, the ways that Liverpool are are supposed to play under Jurgen Klopp and we still have you know Sturridge, Origi, even Dominic Solanke who, are, who is a decent young talent to come in so I don't think Liverpool should rest players in the Champions League maybe rest players in the League Cup because the only way that I can see you know the play Liverpool squad being absolutely exhausted is if we get to the League Cup semi-final or if we get to the League Cup final plus we go far in the Champions League and maybe go far in the FA Cup I don't think Liverpool have the squad depth to cope with going far in all four competitions because you have uh, 30, 38 games in the Premier League you have potential like 8 or 10 or maybe even 12 or 13 games in the Champions League Plus, you have a potential like four, five, six games in the League Cup, another four, five games in the FA Cup. So if you add those games up, that could be an insane season that Liverpool squad wouldn't handle. But we, we still have the January transfer window, and if Jurgen Klopp sees any sign of a weakness in the squad, I think we have the money to go big in the January transfer window. We signed Virgil van Dijk in the last January transfer window, spending 75 million on him. So Jurgen Klopp is not afraid to spend the money and he wants what's best for Liverpool. I don't agree with Gary Neville that Liverpool should just uh, rest players in the Champions League and focus on the Premier League because I honestly think that Liverpool have the squad to compete for the Premier League title and the Champions League and to last the season because as I said we had we have great strength in depth especially in midfield and in defense I mean we have Van Van Dijk and Joe Gomez this partnership is turning out to be a world-class partnership so far and we still have Matip, Dejan Lovren and Ned Phillips in reserve if in case anybody is needed, we have you know Trent Alexander Arnold and Klein at right back, we have Moreno and Robertson at left back. So we have virtually two players for every single position. The only position that maybe we don't have an, an outer a right uh, like for like backup is the Sadio Mane left winger position. But there a number of players can play there. Origi can play there, even maybe um, you know, uh, storage can play there if if it's needed, and definitely Lalana can play there. So I think Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp will cope 
with the demands of the Champions League and the Premier League. Gini Vinaldum, who is turning out to be a very, very good number six in, in uh, today's Liverpool, and I mean number six, not his kit number, but his actually a position on the pitch as a holding midfielder. He's actually maybe a little bit more mobile than Henderson, so that's why he has been playing so far, and Liverpool's midfield looked very, very good in the first five games in the Premier League. He actually said that he almost signed for Tottenham before he signed for Liverpool, and I quote Gini Vinadum, I met Pochettino when I left Newcastle. I just felt Liverpool wanted to come to an agreement quickly. Tottenham have shown over the years the quality of their players and manager. I see Tottenham as a team like us wanting to play good football. They are always looking for solutions in the game and play as we do. But he also said that Liverpool really wanted to sign him very quickly. They were very keen on him, Jurgen Klopp especially. And Vinadum decided to join Liverpool and uh, I think that's that decision he doesn't regret because uh, Liverpool went to the Champions League final and uh, I think we are now a better developed team than Tottenham even though you know Pochettino had more years at Tottenham than Jurgen Klopp had at Liverpool but we just made better signings and also we spent a little bit uh, more money than Tottenham so it's fair to, to have a better team than them, but uh, spending big money doesn't always guarantee success. Look at just Manchester United. I don't, think, I don't think they have a better team than Liverpool, and they spent twice as much as Liverpool in the past five seasons in total. So yeah, these are just my opinion. I w would love to hear yours. Leave them in the comments below, and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. See you later, guys. Goodbye.